eczema, you know, can be quite a troubling problem to many people. And they, some of them suffer in silence. Eczema is not contagious. And if your loved one, your friend, your colleagues in the office have eczema, please don't <coughs> run away. You hurt their feeling. Basically, eczema is a chronic, itchy skin condition and you see it very often in children but it can happen at any age and very often we call it atopic eczema. Atopic meaning um, the person has a predisposition to having a hypersensitivity uh, sort of conditions. So a person with eczema will have also sensitive um, nose or sensitive lungs, so giving them allergic rhinitis or asthma. And this, these conditions often run in families, so they may have a parent or a brother or sister with the same type of conditions. What are the common triggers why people get a flare of eczema? So uh, common triggers, uh, as I said, can be um, heat, sweat, dust, house dust mites in the environment. Some are like what Dr. Ho said, due to contact with chemicals, some are due to allergy. That's right. right? Sometimes allergy to allergic. what kind of things? I mean, The commonest would be nickel. So like okay, nickel, nickel, that's an yeah. interesting thing. And all of you put up your left or right hand and show me you wear a watch. Yeah. Okay, do you, do you know that your watch actually contains a lot of what? Nickel as well? Yes. And in some of you, your spectacle also got nickel. That's why I don't wear a metallic frame. And you, you look at it, some of them actually have a rashes, right? Yep, that's right. By the right. ear there. So it's very localized yeah. where they touch and, the metal. And sometimes you wear watches, you get itchy there. So the easiest thing is to stop wearing that thing, you know, anything with nickel. So costume jewelry, watches, um, uh, even the metal belt the buckles. Belt, that's yeah. right, you know. Ladies, go back and examine your husband. You can see some of them got this little patch here due right. to the belt. On, around the belly button, yeah. yeah. Some people who are very um, particular, they might go to all the extents. But usually we just tell them to keep cool and dry, try to reduce the dust load in the house. Um, and also what they can do is when they are showering and, and, and things, to use um, some gentle soap-free cleansers and then you need to ask them to moisturize all the time. Do they use well. cold or hot water to bathe? Uh, lukewarm water, not lukewarm. too hot, yeah. More comfortable. Uh, it's more comfortable for the patient and it's not so drying for the skin. I often do tell my patients if they are going somewhere cold to change the moisturizers they use. In Singapore, where it's very hot and humid, we would prescribe creams. Creams, okay. But in a, in a very cold, temperate country, we tend to give ointments. So the oily, oily type, the oily, type, the the oily right. type of moisturizers and even the oily type of uh, steroids, so the treatment medicines, to, to apply. And that you know, kind of keeps the moisture in, it, it just helps them much more. And if you can preempt that, you can hopefully prevent them from, you know, having a flare whilst they're on holiday, which will kind of ruin the holiday. So I hope today, after the talk show, you learn from Dr. Ho, and then we learn more about this problem, and we go around and share the message. We become more compassionate, we understand this group of people better.